is Waterlily716 or Sarah and today I'm going to be doing a fun retro um, updo hairstyle tutorial for y'all. I think this is a really fun hairstyle. Um, you can definitely wear it to like a themed party if you want, but you can also wear this day to day. It's just sort of a funky different updo you can do. You could also probably wear it to a special occasion if you jazz it up enough. But yeah, so I hope you guys love this tutorial and let's go ahead and get cracking. What I'm going to be using today is some Jane Carter Nourish and Shine. I'm gonna put some oils in my hair and it's gonna make it like a little bit, it's gonna smooth down any flyaways. And then I would also recommend um, maybe some sort of, just some sort of spray gel or hairspray. This is the Aubrey Organics New Style Organic Hairspray. You're gonna need some good pens, especially if you have thick hair. I'm gonna be using a <laughs> combo of bobby pens like like this regular bobby pens some good day hair magic grips um and for the main bun i'll probably use some spin pins oh and also you probably want some accessories um today i'm going to be pinning this accessory on it's really pretty it's a rose hair clip from flowers from fatima which is a little um etsy shop for handmade hair accessories Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is apply the Nourish and Shine to my hair. Now, yeah, so I'm just going to get a bit of it on the tips of my fingers, warm it up in my hands, and I'm going to smooth it on down for my part and such. This does not make my hair oily. It does have a bit of like a kind of tacky texture, so it should be good basically want to section off um, like starting two inches back and then go down like four inches or so make sure you get all the baby curls on the front and then we're just going to get the rest of the hair out of the way or I'm just gonna take a big duck clip and clip this behind my ear now I'm gonna do the pink curls I'm just gonna call them pink curls I don't think they really are but you know, whatever. So, what I'm going to do is split my hair in half. And um, I'm kind of going to make the first section a little bigger. Aye. I'm going to out of the way. And we're going to start on this. You can go ahead and add a little more of the Nourish and Shine or whatever pomade or something you have floating around. Um, and then what we're going to do, and this is the most difficult part of this whole hairstyle, is we're going to roll up the hair into, like, like we're putting on a curler, and then we're going to flatten it onto our head. So this takes a bit of practice. Um, what I'm going to use is a mascara tube. This is L'Oreal Voluminous. Great mascara, by the way. Um, but you just want something tubular and very smooth so you can slip the curl off the end. Um, a magic marker white might work, you know, something like that. But you're being... Yeah. Wrap it around, roll up, nice and tight. And keep the curl like within two inches. And then, okay, you wanna slant it away from your face kinda sorta. And then you're gonna have this big curl on your head. Now you wanna secure this. I'm just gonna take a bobby pin Kind of grab some of that front hair and pin underneath. You may damage bobby pins. And of course it's hair style. And then I'm going to take a goody spin, or not a good spin, good hair day's magic grip pin and kind of weave it through the back. These are very stable. And then, you know, you're just going to have to put several more pins in these. As you can see, I have a cute little curl on top of my head. Now I'm going to do the next one. Just wrap the hair around. As you're doing this, you really want to make sure that you get all the baby hairs, um, or else they will become annoying later. Just going to get it, slant the tube forward, and slide the curl off. Then roll it up just a little bit more and secure it right next to that first curl. Yeah, so secure it from the front. Grab a little bit of hair and weave it underneath and backwards. 
Okay, and I'm just going to use one on that curl. And then I'm going to take a good Hair Days Magic Grip and kind of weave it underneath both of them from the side. Once you have it like you want, you make sure there aren't any pins like sliding out or jutting out. That means that they're probably not going to stay. You want to go ahead and set those with some hairspray. Fix. The next thing you're going to do is do two rolls on either side of your head. Now, so go ahead and kind of divide your hair into two sections. And then you're going to take the side that has less hair. You're going to take your section and twist it away from your face. You're going to grab one little itty bitty section, take it, and twist it away from your face. And continue to do this until you're finished with your whole side of the head. Yeah, but once you rolled all this side of hair, twist it up and pin it down with a spin pin so that it doesn't move. So I'm basically twisting it into a little bun. A little bun. And put the spin pin in. It looks a little silly, but this roll will not come undone. Then you're going to go ahead and do the other side. Once you've got both sides rolled, you're going to hold this one very tight, and you're going to take down the other one. Then you're going to combine them both into a ponytail. Then split it into the same two sections that you're working with before and you're going to rope braid. So just from this one, this way, this other one, the same way. Then cross the left over the right. Twist them both the same way again, left over right. And you are just going to continue to do this. You can bring it over your shoulder if your hair gets too long. Oh yeah. Then you are going to take a little hair tie and secure the end of the braid so it doesn't come undone. You're just going to wrap the rope braid like your ballet bunny, and then we're going to use the spin pins to secure it in place. Now, if you don't have spin pins, you can use regular pins, or these would also work well. Um, but what I would do is kind of wrap the rope braid the same way you're twisting it until it begins to twist around itself. Take your spin pins. The way I like to do it is put one in the top, spin it in diagonally, put one in the other side of the top. Make sure you get hair from the bun and go along the base of your head. Now, as you can see, that is super secure. So, yeah, this is basically it. I'm going to. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,